Hello friends, welcome to my channel. We have already studied drugs inhibiting the cell wall synthesis and those drugs which are inhibiting the protein synthesis. Today we are going to learn about anti-metabolites which includes sulfonamides, trimethoprime, pyrimethamine, proguanol and methotrexate. So let's begin with sulfonamides. They are bacteriostatic. They act by inhibiting folate synthesis competitively. This is important for us in MCQs. It is not effective in the presence of pus because it contains large amount of para-amino benzoic acid. This is also an important point. These drugs undergo hepatic metabolism by acetylation and they can cause SLE that is systemic lupus erythematous. Sulfadoxine is longest acting whereas sulfacetin is shortest acting. Classification is divided into three based upon its action. Short acting, intermediate acting and longest acting. In short acting we have sulfisoxazole, sulfamethiazole, sulfacetin. Intermediate acting are sulfamethiazole and sulfadiazine. Longest acting are sulfadoxin. For use in gastrointestinal tract, we use sulfasalazine and all salazine. So you can remember salazine, salazine, that is into GIT related. For topical use, we use sulfasetamide, silver sulfadiazine, which is used for burn patient, and mafenide. Clinical uses. Clinical use of sulfonamides are extremely important. They are often asked in uh, MCQs. So uh, please pay attention. Sulfacetamide for ocular infection. Mafenide and silver sulfadiazine for burn patient. Sulfisoxazole for urinary tract infection. Sulfasalazine and allsalazine for the treatment of ulcerative colitis. Sulfadoxine plus pyramethamine. The combination of these two is used in malaria. Silver sulfadiazine. It is used for fungal keratomycosis. Now toxicity. Mnemonic is ABC rash. I hope these mnemonics are helping you to remember things easily and quickly. So from A it is aplastic anemia. Then it causes bilirubin displacement. Crystalluria. Rash. Rash is the most common side effect of this group. Acetylation as we have seen. Uh, due to the acetylation it causes SLE which is a systemic lupus erythematous. And last is SLE. Edge is hemolysis in G6PD deficiency. G6PD is basically an enzyme related uh, deficiency. So guys hope this was useful for you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.